please press the subscribe button, tap on the bell icon, and never miss an update from Passion Speaks. Hey, what's up, guys? PG is here. Today we are going to do a very complicated thing. There's, I am going to add a new feature in my room. That is, I'm going to add a night mode, or you can see a screen filter in my room. You can also add this uh, screen filter or a night mode in your rooms too. There doesn't matter you are on a stock room or you are using a custom room or you are using any cyanogen mode room. You can add this feature on your rooms also. Just follow my steps and but before starting the video, make sure you completed the playlist of my theme settings dot apk because because uh, in this video we are going to do some complicated things. As we are going to play with codes and we also do some. Or Java works, so make sure you have some knowledge or experience about how code works. As you are watching, I am using a night mode or screen filter in my room, so this will be a non APK guide. So I am not use, using any APK or any app. So this is the non APK guide. We are going to add an inbuilt feature in our room. So, how to do that? Let's start. Okay guys, first you need to decompile your system UI Oh sorry, your settings.apk After you decompile your settings.apk you have to select the dashboard categories or you can So here you have to create a new tile for your Your night mode So I am going to create here a new tile for my night mode You can also use a preference screen or a preference uh, If you know what I am talking about so this is my dashboard tile. so here you can first you need to add android title that is the name of your string or name of your feature so i'm going to add here a string night mode and now this is the main part if you do not do this then you will not able to op open your feature so first you will need to add intent here in intent you have to add an android package Make sure you do the steps correctly. If anything goes with this step, then you are not able to add the feature in your room. So your Android package should be a com.android.settings because we are not using any APK. So we we are going to give access from the settings. So next we have to add Android action, which is our the same same as we use uh, in when we are use our adding the app in our settings so here you now add a target class so these are the main function we are going to use and now you have to close your dashboard tile now you can also add an icon whatever you want so if you want to add an icon before your tile you can add android icon and the source of the icon just add a drawable slash so I'm going to use this drawable slash oh so let's select it up blah 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 or whatever you want okay now we talk about the main part here we have to add Android action that is Android intent action main now the what is the target class so target class how we can assess this feature this is the our target class so I'm going to provide this zip file the links are in the description go download it when you download the zip extract it and here you find the folder that is com so now you have to use this as a target class so i'm going to use a com here next open your com folder here you find my name that is paras so now you use com dot paras then again dot then open then you find here test now com dot paras dot test after test here is our main activity dot smiley just copy the name to make sure these are the key sensitive if the letters are capital then you have to add a capital letters or small then you have to small so these are the capital and small so we completed our just a smallest part here so next we have to open the copy or the whole folder and paste it in your uh, settings now add here a new layout that is activity main in your settings now open this with a node plus 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 and now just add copy the strings copy the values and paste it in your 
or settings just add these strings or values in your settings apk so i'm going to add here so just copy and paste just copy the strings from my zip file to your so now add a color so when you done with it i think all done okay we done the half part now now you can decompile your i'm sorry you need to recompile your okay first you have to hear the layout so i am not provided any id so you have to create your id's on so like if you open your activity layout you will find these are the some id's so you need to add new id's in your settings apk so for example i am going to show add here a id with name alpha control so my name should be alpha control just copy the id's name and create new id's in your settings dot apk so there is there are approximately or 10 or 11 id's you need to create so just copy these id's here i'm creating the ids if you get confused you can comment below in the video if so i can help you easy you can also join me on the facebook group you can like my facebook page if you have any questions then you can ask me directly from my facebook group or you can also leave a comment here So these are the IDs you need to create. Okay. Now you need you can recompile your settings dot apk. After you recompile your settings dot apk, again you have to decompile it. now this is the main and the complicated part we are going to discuss now that is you have to copy copy the id codes and replace with your public so that's why i am telling you you need to complete it your theme dot settings dot playlist to understand how this code work so these are the codes i provided you in the file first in the android manifest you have to add this activities okay this is the main part you have to now replace the ids so for replacing the ids no, you, you have, have like now you have i to. already give you a one hex file so you have to just find the name of that hex file when you find the name then you have to find the id number which belongs to this name for example this this is my name and this is the code then i need to replace with here and you have also changed this id number to your smalley file that is our java file so if you doesn't i think you will not understand this so you need to watch my previous videos for this where i add a this few animations and That's all guys hope you like the video if you like the video please press the subscribe button do like and do share thanks for watching guys see you next week